Hi, I'm Dave Kessler, Amateur Radio Call Sign KE0OG, and welcome to this episode of Ask Dave. Very short. I'm just going to show you how I installed the Anytone D578 uh, uh, mobile rig in place of the old Yesu rig that I have there. I've got this set up now as a permanent part of my station so I can do some testing just right here from the desk treating it as though it's uh, my home station okay and we'll just do it real quick okay this is the Yesu dual band FM FM only FT7800 and we're going to remove this Got a little torque on this screw, so out there we go. Okay, and we'll undo the undo the PL259. And uh, we're gonna just undo this real quick. There. By the way, this is a standard connector. You'll see it's the same on the. Uh, this is the same on the Anytone. Okay, now we got to take this thing off. These screws look to be about the same size as the ones for the Anytone. Why is that not moving? There we go. Oh, I see. I put a piece of double-sided tape on it to hold it up while I was screwing it up. Now what we need to do is see if those four holes line up with anything on here. And the answer is sort of. So I'm going to take this one put it right there. This is the new bracket. Very difficult to see under there. Now, those two screws would hold that thing in place just fine, but let's see if we can get those back ones in. Now, I don't think that's going to happen. Let's just use these two and screw them in tight. They're in a non-mobile setting. That's just fine. Now, here are the screws. Okay. These are the same screws that came out of there. And then we have the actual screws. Now what we're going to do is put these in here in just a little ways. A few turns. Okay. There's another one. Now we get the screws kind of on. Sort of want to try to pull the washers back so that we can. We're going to first try and get that up and then that up. Okay, and we'll then bring in. Ok, 
Okay. Okay. There we go. Now, this is seems a little sideways, doesn't it? But it looks all right from the bracket. Now I'm going to screw in these tighter. Now these ones on the other side, the only way I could do them would be with an extremely short screwdriver or a little wrench. I may come back with a little wrench. But we can Okay, and we'll just bring this down here and we'll take the old one out, put the new one in. Okay. There. Okay, it's set. It is set. It's in place. Very good. Now we can use it, but it is installed. I should get power when I push the button. Yep, booting, please wait. Any tone. And then... There we go. Okay. It's in. Well, there wasn't that much to that. Uh, just uh, take out the old one and uh, get the old one in the plastic bag here with all the parts collected in one bag so they don't get separated from each other. The microphone, the cord, the screws, uh, the mounting bracket, everything is in one place so I can use it again for some other project. So, there you have it. And as far as tuning my own horn, sure. There we go. That's the number five, by the way. Until we next meet, 73.